Welcome back to my channel everyone. My name is Sarah. This is Losing Hair Not Heart and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite style of sports wigs. I am talking about hat wigs which I do have on right now and this is what a hat wig looks like. The wigs I'm going to be showing you today are meant to be worn with hats which is why they don't have a top part right here. This part is meant to be really flat to the head and to help the hats fit really close to the head but I wear these wigs every morning. Really a lot of times I'm running errands and every time I go for a walk I just throw on one of these wigs throw on a hat, but they're also perfect for this time of year when it gets to be really cold. You can throw on a beanie or a ball cap or even a fedora. And honestly, a hat wig is an essential in my books. Let's go ahead and jump in. So like I said earlier, I'm going to be showing you four hat wigs today, and these are all from the brand The Hustle Wig. The Hustle Wig is based out of New York, and right now they currently only sell hat wigs, and they just launched a new fall collection with some new colors, and also they just launched hats to go with those wigs. I have three brunette colors and one bronze color, and I'm going to explain to you how ordering works. So the hat wigs come in regular sizes that you would normally get, like extra small, small, medium, large. The Hustle Wig actually actually has a deal where you can do a try on option. So you buy one wig, but they actually send you two. So you can choose two colors that you wanna try on to see which one is best for you. And then you just mail back the one that doesn't work for you. And that is a great option for whenever you're deciding between two similar colors or two similar wave patterns. What's unique about the Hustle Wig is that their wigs are sold in light wavy texture and wavy. This one right here, the first one I'm gonna show you is in the wavy texture. I actually have never washed this one right here. This one has been worn in a ponytail all the time outside and it's my throw on and go every time we go for a walk or somebody's at the door or last minute I need to put something on. But this one is in the wavy texture and as you can see, I would describe this as more of a light curly option. You'll see later, but the light wave one is more of just subtle waves. Also, most of these wigs come in longer lengths, but by the time you're seeing this, you might have seen that Hustle Wig is now offering a shorter lob style, so stay tuned for that. This first one I'm gonna show you guys is a dark brown wavy, and the dark brown color really is a dark brown, but I'll go ahead and bring it in a little closer because it has the tiniest bit of dimension. I'm not talking anything crazy, but there are just little tiny golden pieces flickered throughout this dark brown which just gives it this really gorgeous color. Here is what the inside of the cap looks like. You don't have any clips on the ear tabs and obviously there's no lace on top, there's no silk on top. There is this lining right here just to make it soft on the top of your head. It has wefting in the back and then adjustable straps. So obviously you can't wear this wig by itself. You have to wear a hat with it because you would look crazy walking around like this. And this is really flat to the head. So if you wear a regular wig, you will see that hats sometimes have a hard time going on it. But with these type of wigs, they don't because this part is very flush to the head. And before I go any further, I just wanna say I don't wear my lace top wigs with hats anymore. I did wear one of my really nice Highline ones a couple years ago or a year and a half ago with some hats, with a bucket hat, and it can fray and slightly alter the lace. So for me personally, I have the options of having a hat wig. So if I'm going to wear a hat or a beanie or anything like that, I'm going to be wearing a hat wig just to protect the lace on those delicate wigs. So I'm gonna put her on like normal. It really is just like a regular regular wig. So this is what the wig looks like when you put it on. I like to push mine all the way up until the hairline. You don't want this part to go too far back, to slide back, and you don't want it too forward, but I think right here at the tip of the hairline is a good spot. I also like to mesh a little bit of my hair right here with it since it's almost the same color. So like I said, I haven't washed this one because this one is 
my go-to throw on and go. And this one stays by the front door, but it absolutely does need to be washed. But after I wash it, it should resume this wavy pattern, which is more of like a curly pattern. The Hustle Make also came out with a ton of hats and I do have a code Sarah10 and you can get 10% off all their hats. The code doesn't apply for their wigs, but their wigs are already on the cheaper side. This one right here is the Stella cap. It's basically a basic ball cap with a really nice shape. I really like the shape, but this is in solid colors. I have burgundy, which works really well with brunettes. It's just a nice color complementing it. And the back has the adjuster. It has a really nice 23 inch length, but of course, if you wanted to cut it shorter, you could or if you want a super short style, stay tuned for that new collection. This is what it looks like from the side. One concern I've heard women ask is that they feel like the hat is just gonna come flying off and they'll be left like this. And you really just have to adjust the hat. Like ball caps aren't just gonna fly off like that. So definitely have them on a snug but not super tight setting. And the other beanie I'm gonna show you is quite snug so you won't have that problem. But I would say absolutely do not wear these type of wigs to the airport because you have to take your hat off whenever you go in through the security line. So if you take your hat off, you're gonna be looking like this. You're gonna be looking a little crazy. I would say carry these wigs in your bag and if you wanna throw it on after you go through security, then do that. I'm gonna show you how I put this in a ponytail through the loop. I have a pixie underneath, so I have to be a little bit more careful because I don't actually have hair to blend in with the bottom of the wig. I think I've mentioned this, but you have a couple options here. You could hold the hair up, put the hat on and pull it through, or you could go ahead and put it in a ponytail and then do it after or use a clip. I'm just gonna do it like this and put the hair in that hole like so, as you can see. And then you just wanna kind of mesh. This may need to be fixed right here to mix any side hair if you have any side hair out. I'm just pulling this bottom section down to help cover since you can see some of my pixie. I could also cut baby hairs into the bottom of it, kind of like I did in my lace pony video, if I wanted to have a little bit out. If you do have longer hair right here, you could pull out a bottom thin layer and then have that go over the wig and go up in the ponytail with it. Here is an up close of what that pony leg pony wig looks like. You can see my bio hair mixed in with it. It can go higher if you want it to. You could also use a little bit of a clip right here to push it up. So there are a ton of options you can do. This one right here is called Seashell, and as you can see, this is how she sits in my little hair basket. She already had some braids on this side because I think I wore this to the pool last time, and I'll insert a photo right here of what that looks like, but I really like wearing this one with my little scarf that I wear for the pool. I just think this color is really pretty, and it is more of a bronze shade, so this is the only one I have in that color range. The other ones I have are all brunettes. I know right now she maybe looks a little intimidating with all of this blonde, but once you have it up in a ponytail or down, it's not as bright in your face. I also found a little way to change up the look of this. If you just want more of this kind of golden brown underneath, there's an easy way to work around that. The color on this one, like I said, is more of a bronze and it has some ashier neutral highlights mixed in with more of a golden brown. It did have braids in this, so some parts of it are looking a little bit more curly, but the pattern on this one is a light wave, so it really is just a light wave. It's not super curly. This one also was from the original line of colors. Another question I've been asked is, can you wash them and style them differently? And the answer is yes. You can absolutely wash these, blow dry them out for a straight look, or you could just blow dry it and then put your own waves in it. I did that with another light wavy one, or you could just wash it and let it air dry in this naturally light wave pattern. I'm going to pair this with the Kara cap. This is also from the Hustle Wig, and this one is really cute. It's a black faded denim, and it has these neutral hearts right here on the front that are super cute, and of course it has an adjustable strap on the back. I'm gonna put this hat on two ways. I'm gonna put it on and show you the color, and then I'm gonna show you how I alter the color. Here is seashell right here. Of course, you're getting all of this dimension, lots of beautiful color. I'll go ahead and do a little bit of a spin for you.
really like this color the hair is super soft but I want to show you a way to get two colors out of this wig so let's go ahead and do it looking in the viewfinder right here to do this but the colors on this one are basically sewn in wefts and the very top weft has some of the brightness. What I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna take it and put it on the top of the head. I could also like pin it on the top of the head, but just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna twist it and show you what it looks like if I take that top layer of brightness and just pin it right here. And just like that, it looks like a different wig because you don't have as much dimension on that top layer. Of course, you can still see some of the dimension down throughout it, but by removing that top layer, it looks a little bit more warm. It it's a little bit darker, it has more of that golden undertone. I really like having the option to change it and I think it's really nice like this too. You still get that dimension, like I said, you can still see a lot of it more underneath, but you're not seeing as much of it on top. Here are two new fall colors right here. These are so gorgeous. This one right here is called Espresso and is more of a deep coffee brown. And this one is more of a dark brown with some dimensional highlight. Okay, here is Espresso. This one is so soft. The hair on this one feels so nice. And this is also, as you can see, in the light wave pattern. It definitely is not the wavy slash curly one. This one is described more as a deep coffee brown color, and I absolutely agree. There isn't a lot of dimension in this one. It is more of just that solid, warm, dark brown shade. I'm going to pull up dark brown right here just so you can see the difference. This one is a little bit deeper of a brown with a very, very subtle golden dimension in it. And this one, as you can see, a little bit lighter and definitely more warm and no dimension. This wig right here actually reminds me of Sage from Uniwigs. So if you like Sage from Uniwigs and you're wanting to have a hat wig in a similar color, try Espresso. The hat I'm going to pair this wig with is called the Tessa Beanie. And this beanie is so cute. It has kind of a faded color. I would call it more of a salmon color more than pink, but it's the salmon fading color and this one is really really cute on and it is very snug. So it's not unbearably tight, but it is snug, so I think this one works best for small to medium heads. This is such a cute look for this time of year, fall going into winter. A lot of people have really cold weather. I'm gonna need your help at the end because I'm only keeping one of these two newer wigs. It's either this one, Espresso, or this one I'm about to show you, Mocha. So at the end, definitely leave a comment and let me know which one you think looks best on me and which one's your favorite. Last up for today is the other brunette from the fall collection. This one is in the color Mocha. This one is a dark brown, but definitely not darkest of brown. And then it has these golden, caramel highlights, dimensional pieces throughout it, and it just has a very, very pretty blend of color. This one is so beautiful. I did go ahead and just put my own waves in it. I didn't even wash it or anything. I just put my waves on top of the light wave that I already had, and as you can see, it just changed up the look a little bit, and I really love the way this one looks. The other one I showed you that was really dimensional was Seashell, and like I said, the top layer of that one was really ashy and you could definitely remove that top layer. But on this one, it's not quite that way. I would say there is dimension, but it's not as obvious as the seashell one. This hat right here has to be one of my favorites. This is a fedora, but honestly, it's more, it's, it's more of a sophisticated cowboy hat combined with a fedora. This one has a really nice fit. I already had two of my own fedoras, but those fit very different than this. This one has a little bit wider of a bill and it is really nice. This is the Sophie fedora and it comes in a few colors. This one is taupe. I mean, look at that. I just think that is so stunning and especially the dress I'm wearing right now is actually almost floor length. It's like a tighter long sleeve black dress with a slit and it just is so complimentary to outfits like this and dresses like this. And if you're not sure like where you would wear a hat like this, it pairs so well with so many things. 
I definitely showed a lot of this hat in that little preview I showed of me frolicking outside. I'm gonna compare these two real quick just so you can see. So here is Mocha Chino. Mocha, this is the more dimensional one. And this is the one I showed you right before this. This is more of the deep coffee brown. This is Espresso. So you can see no dimension, dimension. This one has a little bit more of a reddish undertone and this one is more of just a dark brown. And now let me compare mocha with dark brown. Dark brown, like I said, has super, super, super subtle little hints of golden in there. But dark brown, I feel like, has more of a black hue to it, whereas this mocha right here has more of just a brown hue. And If you were to ask me, do I think these hat wigs are worth it? I would say a thousand percent yes, because I think wearing hats is just so great. Number one, it's just a lazier way to do your hair. And then also it helps protect from the sun and then stay warm in this time of year. But for me, the most important thing is I just do not want to risk ruining the lace like I previously did on one of my really nice wigs. I think these hat wigs would last you forever because you're not having to deal with the delicacy of lace or a silk top or anything like that. Washing it is faster. Literally, these wigs are just so worth it. And I know $650 is still a lot of money, but it is more on the affordable side of the wig spectrum. I only showed you four of the hats they carried, but definitely go check out their website. Remember, Sarah 10, it gets you 10% off their hats, but they have so many more hats available on there, different styles, different colors, and really great options for us wig wearers. Please let me know down below, which one do you prefer on me? Because I'm only gonna keep one. Do you like mocha or do you like espresso? I feel like espresso looked really good when I first put it on and I do love it, but for some reason I'm drawn to this color right here. And you know, once you're drawn to a color and you feel like it looks good on you, you definitely wanna go with that one. But I'd love to hear what you guys think. Don't forget that this video is part of my giveaway, which is still going on. So if you comment within the first two hours of posting, you get three entries into the giveaway. If you comment within the first 24 hours, you get two entries and then any time after that is one entry. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you are losing hair, I hope you're not losing heart and you have a blessed day. Bye.